name is Ricky Hauser. I'm a, a certified personal trainer. Um, working here at Edge Fitness. I've been here since July. So I've been here for four months, but I've been doing personal training for four years. One of the reasons why Georgia is the, one of the highest percentage states because of the Southern food, all right? We, we as Southerns like to eat, so we eat a lot of fried foods and stuff like that right there. And just like to sit around the house, watch football, and uh, really don't do too many physical activity things. A lot of times it's that you see the parents, they'll just go buy the kids their video games and let them sit around in the house and play video games all day. A member of the family is obese is because other members of the family are obese. So the thing is for you to control and keep your children healthy, you need to become active with your child. Like you need to start planning a lot of family activities, like uh, pick park, go to the park, have picnics, uh, throwing frisbees, throwing football, playing basketball with your children, bike riding, anything like that, jogging in the park, even go swimming. Those are a lot of things that will help you and your family become a healthier family, especially in the state of Georgia, because I was talking about how it's one of the most obese states in the United States. Four to six hours would be good, a good amount of hours to exercise per week for the average person. All right? There's seven days in a week, so I shouldn't see you having any problem getting four to six hours. Well, another reason why Georgia is one of the highest obese states is because of our eating habits. We uh, tend to overeat, um, we tend to eat a lot of food, uh, we don't do portion control. We add a lot of butter into our foods, a lot of salt, had to make sure it tastes good. We put a lot of fat back and stuff like that in our food. So things, some of the things that we need to try to do is to help uh, Georgia become a healthier state is that we need to stop putting so much butter and stop eating so much fried foods. Uh, we need to try to bake our food, try to grill our food. That way we can eat a whole lot healthier. Uh, try not to use as much salt and cut back on the soda. And uh, we need to try to drink a little bit more water and try to eat a little bit more healthy. And the most important thing is portion control, all right? You need to break down your meals, not try to eat to get full, but eat to satisfy the hunger. I haven't helped anybody lose was a total of 65 pounds. Right? She was um, one of her friends was getting married in Jamaica, and uh, she wanted to go over to Jamaica, and uh, we wound up losing 65 pounds in six months. So she came in, she did personal training, all right, um, and then on the day she didn't work out with me. She also did her activities, and she played tennis, she ran, and she swam. So she made sure she stayed active at least five days out the week. Plus she changed her eating habits. She stayed away from fried foods, ate a lot of complex carbs, got her proteins in, and ate her vegetables in. My name is Sarah, and in 2008, I was 19 years old, weighing 205 pounds at five feet and eight inches tall. The ideal weight for a person my age and height was 150 to 169 pounds. That means I was 36 pounds overweight with 30% body fat. I was unhappy and unhealthy. In 2010, I began to take control of my weight. I performed cardio exercises 30 minutes or more a day and began strength training. As I saw the progress that I was making, I pushed myself further. It is now November of 2011. I am 22 years old and I weigh 174 pounds at 5 feet and 8 inches tall. I have officially lost 31 pounds and now I have 25% body fat. Today I am more confident and I feel great. Those four to six hours that I was talking about earlier about spending doing exercising or something healthy or just get the heart going, doing stuff like family activities and stuff will become part of your four to six hours.